Uh, today's video, as said, it's going to be uh, an experiment to find out how well a lobby can do in 10.1 content. And we gotta, we gotta frame the context correctly. I hope I don't take too long doing this. It'll always take me too long to do this sort of stuff, but whatever. Like the video, subscribe for more content. So here's my freshly leveled level 70 character. And we're going to put a player profile. We're going to attach a profile to this, you know, to this scenario. Let's pretend that we are relatively new to Dragonflight. Like we came in really late in like 10.0.7. We leveled up, we did stuff, we got things. Uh, we didn't get things. We don't really quite know what we're doing. Our build is bad. Nothing, you know, we don't look up anything, all right? But, but we're here to just kind of find out how well uh, we do when we play the kind of ignorant card. So item level on this guy right now is a whopping 260, which is, I believe, like the kind of item level that you would have in patch 9.2 point whatever it is. Uh, I have okay gear. Some of the stuff I got from uh, Time Walking, some of the stuff is still from uh, <laughs> still from uh, Shadowlands. I happen to you be using heirloom weapons because I felt like switching things up and instead of tanking, I wanted to try Fury. And so I have a Fury build. And I have no idea what I did here. And that's, a, that's another specific thing uh, th that I wanted to do with this experiment, is to choose a class and a build that I have no clue how to play, and Fury happened to definitely be it. Because I was like, hey, hey, this seems cool. I can get a talent that makes me not have to use Raging Blow so I can press fewer buttons. Hell yeah. And Whirlwind, that seems fun. So I want that route. And I don't know if it's good. Probably not, but who cares? So this video is going to have some minor spoilers. I'm going to be cutting through here and there. Uh, you know, so you're going to see things that you may not want to see. So if you're not fond of spoilers, sorry about that. You're going to see some game, uh, gameplay spoilers. But the main thing that we're going to find out is, can this dude survive? And if not, what do we do? While I'm down here doing this scenario, I think I do have like a buff. So uh, where is it? Uh, Earth Warder's Protection. Rathian Civilian imbue you with power of the for the fight ahead. Health and damage increased by 100%. Damage taken is reduced by 40% and I heal a few seconds after being hit. And of course I have dragons to help me. I got plot armor. Yeah! So for the most part, I'm just in, you know, kind of enjoying the vibe of killing. Now I know that that some folks will, will rail on this sort of experiment and be like, hey, wait a minute, I shouldn't you... Um, uh, you know, shouldn't you just go to Forbidden Reach? You know, the quest would lead you there. But, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to kind of, like, capture that whole feeling of, you know, the player who is who just really wants to dive into, like, what's new. Um, and as soon as you complete um, a couple of legs of the questing in the Forbidden Reach, you're able to come straight over here. So this makes the initial part, the initial start to 10.1, quite accessible. Now, what I really want to check out after this is if there happens to be an invasion up. Oh, I want to see like how I do with that. It might go terribly. And I gotta figure stuff out for myself. So, oh, but then I get gear to thirty something. <laughs> Welcome to Dragonflight. So cool that uh, that we're seeing like these little treasure things like right away. So I'm uh, two sixty nine now. Winning. Oh boy. Oh, that hurts. Oh no, oh, we're playing the game. And now, wrists. So what have I gotten so far? I got a ring and wrists. The ring came from a treasure. The wrists came from uh, this quest that I just turned in. Um, I'm weak in the sense that it's taken a while for me to kill things. Not so much that I'm getting blasted. Uh, and I think that a lot of that is thanks to having the kinds of, the, the, the kind of uh, class toolkit that we have these days. It's just easier for us to survive. Ooh, these guys are putting on the pain. Oh, no. Uh, I know I have a stun button. It's that button. Okay, just kill this guy, and then I can get my impending victory back up. Woo! It's like I'm leveling up slowly, but it's my brain. Alright, so I'm getting started, but my aim here is to get, like, gear. Is there an assault? Oh, there's an assault. Let's go. Upgrade a piece of equipment with flight stones. Very well. I'll upgrade this neck. Yay. 
Okay, so now I'm getting hooked up now. What? And then upgrade a piece of gear again. So you get like a nice boost at the start with which to get things. So hello, Green Dragon. And aerial support. Weaken the portal's defenses. Oh, a weapon. Thank God. I'm doing this. Let's roll. So when you're here, you get uh, multiple quests to handle and you get goodies. So just spray and, spray and pray. And look at that. Put out some fires. Item level 385 helmet. Okay, so this one's not so... Yeah, this... This thing isn't so tough. This one mob. I can handle it. I get... Great sword! Oh yeah. Look at that. More than double the item level. Oh, and Frox's coming! Ooh, ooh, ooh! He's flying here! He's coming! He's not even using an orb of, uh, fire... owie stuff. Ha! Yeah. Oh god, nope! Nope, that's light! Oh god, oh no! Stealth fire. That's cheap, dude. That's cheap, bro. I don't want to fight it myself. You're crazy. All right. Oh, I'm fighting it. Oh, no. Oh, snapped. Oh, my, my face. <laughs> it's not one of those kinds of fights. Okay. I'm level 321, not ready. Not by myself. I swore if I get aggro again, I'm gonna be upset. Ooh, okay, where are you going? Did you evade? <gasps> Did you evade? Oh my goodness. Hey, maybe these NPCs will help out. I'll like try to knock these dudes out. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna support by uh... Oh, hey, hey, there he is! There's Bane! Hey, bro. I need... We need help, man. Oh! I'm gonna fight these guys and safety. Okay, just make, just make sure to be on the other side of the dude. Alright. Uh, so this is the kind of dude that does need... Um, like a tank for it. Uh, but otherwise, everything else is like pretty avoidable. I think it's really cool that all these NPCs are helping. It's like, yeah! Alright, what do we get? I got a head. Ooh, oh no! Help! <laughs> Daddy! Uh, oh, okay, that didn't work out. Forge Master slain. Oh wait, I gotta beat him! Oh no! <laughs> oh boy! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! I got clipped by the thing! Concussive blast interrupted. Good. Okay, so he's just an elite. He's not he he's just a sponge. Oh okay, concussive thing sucks. Ow. Woo! Basically suck it! Give me something. To <gasps> There's no reward. Mmm. You know what I got out of that? Training, though. I learned my stupid class. Can Lobi survive in 10.1? Barely. Oh, uh, but it's not, it's definitely not impossible. It is not, victory is not out of reach. <gasps> Weapon, oh yes, yes! We're gonna fight a rare, let's do it. Who's unlucky enough to contend with me? Yellow this bitch, let's do it, yeah! How much life do you have, punk? 4.5 million? Oh no! <laughs> My weapon was good! Ah! See this lower res sickness? It was made for me. Guys, it was made for me. Oh, oh, more gear. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, more gear, dude. Yeah. Like, so the rule? <laughs> Do the campaign. I mean, yeah, you could be like, Hey, I just came into the patch. Step one, I'm gonna do what the guide tells me and I'm going to go into, um, Forbidden Reach to like get the random gear and kill the rares and stuff. I guess the problem though is that if you are um, if you are gonna go to Forbidden Reach during 10.1 there's gonna be way fewer people there so you're gonna struggle a little bit more trying to get those rares so you know for people who might be coming in late who might come in after the patch you know there's that question of hey am I screwed? Nope! I think you're okay. Uh, the 10.1 quest line will like help you get started. It's not as lucrative as uh, as it could be if you had been around for 1007 stuff. Uh, but you're in a good spot. Ah! <laughs> you're mostly in a good spot. I'm not quite... I don't, I don't think they've said whether or not the Farrakh assaults were going to be day one stuff. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. Because the gear that I got wasn't 
stupendous. It wasn't game breaking or, you know, it basically wasn't season related gear. I am answering the question on whether or not Lobies can do well in 10.1. And the answer is they do well. Okay, so these two quests got me a belt and glove. So I replaced my Unity. Woohoo! And I replaced some 266s. Oh yeah, I'm starting to fill out. I'm, I'm getting all the purple stuff. Feats. See, I got a ways to go though. I, I need legs, uh, legs, chest, and shoulders. And I think that'll complete the uh, this questing set. Oh, there's legs. 4.6 million health. Ugh. Ah, retreat. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Whatever the case, I got enough rep. <laughs> and now I, I completed the weekly, which gives me more rep. And now I got a a sensational Niffin treasure full of a map, a breastplate. Ooh, veteran gear. Okay, so I will take this uh, new chest that I got, and it asks for 60 flight stones and a a shadow flame thing with bobber. So boom! Look at me now. Ooh, I look so cool. I need shoulders though. So all this stuff, kind of like, you know, pretty much in one city, I'm able to... Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm able to pretty much fully kept myself out with, uh, with all this relevant gear. Now, can I take on a rare yet? Nope. <laughs> Not by myself. That's, that's the thing that a lot of folks don't quite realize when it comes to, like, newer zone content and, and all that stuff. That for the most part... It's tuned for people who had just gone through it for the first, who, who, who are just on a fresh character. That's what it's tuned for. And boom. Shoulders. Oh, and another thing, of what, and another weapon. Well, this is more than what I need, but pff, I have no complaints here. Can Lobi survive 10.1? Yes. I happen to be on a Lobi warrior uh, with, you know, not too much knowledge about what the heck I'm doing. Uh, but between uh, being able to get like certain buffs and the ease of gear that we get access to from the Farrakh Assault as well as the quest campaign, it's definitely easy for someone who happens to either not be knowledgeable or just happens to just not care about doing Forbidden Reach stuff that they'll still be able to succeed uh, on like the first day or heck the first few hours of this patch. That's going to be it. I'll see you guys for the next thing. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, stay breezy. Bye!